Hey everyone, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the April BoxyCharm. The look I did today was using all the items in the April box. Alright, without further ado, let's open her up. The first item I want to talk about is the Artist Culture Diamond Glow Powder. Here is what the box looked like. I had to rip it open. And here is what the packaging for the highlighter looks like. Now, when I was trying to put my look together, I had a little trouble with this item specifically. When I opened it up, it had the little twist and lock thing that some setting powders may have. And it's really cool and convenient because you can lock it so no powder falls out when you open your cap or anything. But the problem I had, I couldn't figure out how to get the barrier out. The barrier that, here, let me show you. Where the holes are and where this is, there's another plastic there. I went as far as to taking this whole part out. And when I did, I got this powdery highlighter, whatever you want to call it, all over the place. It's still, I don't know if you can see my hand, is like iridescent. Got it all over, and I still could not figure out how to get the plastic barrier out. The top was already off, so I just went in with my brush and just put it on my face. The shade I got was Purple Dream. I actually really like it. You can kind of see it here, because it went with my purpley pink eye look. And a lot of people were freaking out because they thought the shades were going to be harsh on their skin, but it's very subtle, very light. And this was me, like, dipping my finger in and swiping it on my face. So I actually did like this more than I thought I would. Now, this item retails for $27 itself. So this item alone retails for more than the box, which is pretty cool. Okay, now the next item I want to talk about is the Luxie Summer Days 3-Piece Brush Set. So here's what they look like. The first brush is the Luxie 209 large shader. This is what I used for the pink shade on my eyelid. The next brush is the Luxie 245 small shader. So here it is. It's more like a flat brush more than a shader brush. And this big brush here is the Luxie 512 small contouring. I did use this for my bronzer. I actually really, really liked how this blended out. The density is perfect. It's not too dense, but it's very lightweight and very easy and controlled. So I did enjoy using this. The whole set retails for $28. So that's super cool. I love how the brush is like an ombre festival color because the theme is festival. And here, this is what the packaging looked like on the bag. It had like a nice big Ferris wheel, which was pretty cool. So I really like how they teamed up and did this whole festival collection. The next item I have is a Bodyography eye pencil. Here's what it looks like. The color is in Bale Bronze. So let me swatch it for you guys. Here's what that looks like swatched. I did try to use this on my waterline. It wasn't coming off very well. Like I went in on my hand and I scribbled first to see if that would like warm it up a little bit. And it still wasn't coming off very much on my inner, on my waterline for my eye. But I did try to use it. So I mean like it did change the color like a tad. But it just looked like a shimmery version of what my natural color of my waterline looked like. So that's just something to note. And this retails for $14. The next item in my box is the Appeal Cosmetics Holographic Lip Gloss. So here's what the lip gloss looks like. It retails for $21. I'm going to swatch it for you guys real quick. It's basically just like a nice shimmery gloss. The final product I got in this box is the Per Complexion Authority Festival Palette. So here's what it looks like. Here's what the inside looks like. I used the shades I used for my eye look. I used the pink first, the purple. I went in with this because I did a little halo eye. And I used this in the middle of the halo eye. I used this to be like a blending um, transition for the purple to the halo. The palette worked really well for me. These two are pressed glitters, so I did pull out my Too Faced 
glitter glue to pack them on and they went on perfectly the pink blended out so nicely it gave me no trouble at all i actually use the this color it's called free spirit i use that for my inner corner highlight and gypsy i noticed it didn't go on as strong as it looks in here but it is pretty pigmented and the purple is there overall i'm so happy with how the eye look came out i think it looks really good i haven't done a halo eye in a while and i've only done like two in my life so i thought this turned out so nicely the palette itself retails for 36 dollars almost every item is more expensive than the box itself the only thing that wasn't as expensive was the eye pencil it was only 14 dollars but the next lowest costing item was the Appeal Cosmetics Lip Gloss, and that was $21. So you get a really good retail value for the whole box. Okay, guys, that is it for today. The box, I am very happy with this month. I honestly thought I wasn't going to like it, but I am happy with how everything turned out. I ended up loving the highlighter more than I thought I would. The palette, I actually was not excited for. I thought I was going to hate it. I saw the packaging. That one bright pink stood out to me, and I don't like pinks very much. But looking at the palette in person, I realized that this is really a nice palette, and I love how this look turned out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss when a video is posted. And make sure to follow me on my Instagram while I will be posting all my images of my boxes, all my quick little Instagram videos of my looks. Alright guys, that's it. Have a great day and I will see you soon.